Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So now, what I've been doing is not too much between episodes, but we do need to make some slime balls. So let's go and do that first of all. We need hydrogen. Now I should have plenty of hydrogen here now. Yeah, 3,000. That's, that's a reasonable amount of hydrogen. Let's take what we can. In fact, let's put this refined ingot away and take another stack of that. So, with this, I'm going to put these into here. Like that. So we have 700 now, so actually not that many. I'm going to make nine. So basically what I've got here is nine of these. So we're basically going to make some methyl, which is CH3. So we'll put in three of those and then we take carbon. Oops, wrong, not oxygen. One, two, three stacks of carbon will do. I'll put in a stack of that and then we should be able to take some metal out of there like that. Do the same thing again. And again. That we'll have some down here, that's no big deal. The others have processed, of course. Now, so the next one we want to do is get this book out of here. Let's have a look what we got to do in the book. I don't want those in there, do we? So, slime balls is this one. So, we need to make some methyl methyl crate. So, we need some now, some oxygen, and some for three of those. So we basically need two stacks of that and two stacks of carbon. Two stacks of oxygen, two stacks of carbon for these three stacks. Oh, we've only got two stacks, okay. Anyway, two of each, that'll do. I can hear some zombies around the place. Have I got that right? Oh, I haven't bothered booking yet. It was carbon I wanted, wasn't it? Oxygen, carbon. I think... Nope. It's still using up the, it's still using up the items. So now it's finished. So we can put that back in here now. And now we've got plenty of luck. Another stack of metal in here. Actually, that's about... That's about right, actually. So look. Oop! I don't want to decompose them. Oh. So that will have gone into here, won't it? Oxygen and hydrogen. Let's just shift these out of it. Nope. Oh, oxygen. Let's just make those metal again. Somebody's bothering me a bit. It must be night time. Tell you what we'll do. We'll have a quick sleep. Definitely is night time. Doesn't really bother me in the sense it's going to attack me, just disturbing noise wise. So you actually lose your concentration a bit. Not that that's actually difficult to do. So let's go back here. And I want this one. CHC, wasn't it? So let's put that into there and then put the, ah oh yes, should be some more than that yet, there we go, so we're just left with carbon and oxygen, yeah, fantastic, so we can then put the, these two away, I'll take the book out again and this time we should be able to make the stuff that we need for, oops, But um, right, I'm not doing very well. Sorry, I do apologise again. Can I see? And I want to make the slime ball one. This is this one. So I do need the carbon and oxygen because I had to, I didn't realise I've forgotten to do these nine in here. So let's just put those in there like that. Flick it up, and I need the book to make the metal, which I forgot to select. This one like that. So we've got it all out now. So that's basically everything out of there. Let's put these two back. So now 
What we can then do is to take the book out again. I think that's everything. Change the, change the recipe to the one we actually want, just the one before this one here. And put that into the oops, synthesizer. So basically it's just three of these. Maybe we've got one more or two in here, that's right, good. So now we're getting this polymethyl cryolate coming out of that, which is fantastic. If we shift click those out now, how much is it? Does it done all of them? Actually, one short of doing another bit. That's never mind. So we've got 22. It's actually not a lot, but it's enough because that will give us 22 as a sticky pistons. Let's take that out of here now, and I think it just goes in the middle like that. So we've got 22 slime balls. It's quite a lot of effort to make a slime ball when you think about it. So now, what we can do is let's see what we've got for pistons in here. To 81, great. Let's just take, let's just do it like this. Make 22 sticky pistons and put those back in again, because we will need them. The reason I wanted this was to make some more import and export, didn't I? So an export bus. Let's have a look at recipe for this. I should be able to make. Ah oh, yes, cores I didn't take out of here. I'd already made some cores to test how they how they worked and they work and had to make them it was just fine. Let's do that again. So now we can make a few of these. Four will do I reckon. And then the import bus, I've already got four of those. Let's look at the recipe actually I'd like to make some fluid import and export buses. So the only difference between these and this is it's got it's got lapis lazuli outside it. Now how much lapis lazuli have I got? Forty six. So I can afford to make a few of these. Let's make five of those as well. Good. Oh, this one's different. Don't ask me why. Probably because it's been in a machine. And let's make some import buses as well. So look at the recipe. That'll be just the same with sticky pistons, I guess. And I've just lost something at the top. What did I lose at the top? That must have been the core. It's an annihilation course. Yes, it is. Look. And it's full. What do we want to make of these? We've got one, two, three. Make another two. Okay, that'll do for the time being. Can't put these back in because it's already full. What can we remove out of here that we don't use very often? Well, probably mushrooms. Yeah, that'll do. I do need a chest to find a, find a place for these. Tell you what we'll do. We'll make it another double chest. Have we got some wood in here or chests? Yeah, we've got some plenty of. Let's just put a double chest outside. Because these food bits we don't really need at the moment anyway. I don't know if we ever do need them, but. Let's just put them down here. So we've we'll put the mushrooms and things in there like that. Are there any seeds in there? No. How's the world's useless, most useless mob grinder doing? As I expected, nothing. And I moved the walrus as well. The walrus is now there. So what are we up to? Basically, all this is about is automation. Can I sort my inventory now? You see, we've got a couple of these which we haven't stacked. And the only reason I can think of these not stacking is because we can start to make them fairly easily anyway. So we can make almost everything that we need. Let's put this annihilation core over here like that. So we've got those. In fact, we've probably got some more cores in here. Right? Actually, let's take this because those are now they should now be able to go into here. So what I would like to do is, to, of course, to make a one K storage, but an ordinary one K storage component. Uh, uh, I know what the problem is here. That's the wrong recipe. If you look at that one again, that is a nice, easy recipe from Applied Industries 2. 
But in Galactic Science 2, we don't have nice easy recipes. So let's just do empty reload. And let's have a look at that again. Not the fluid one, the standard one. Yeah. So that's what we have to make. So we've got 64 calculation processes. Engineering processes and logic processes will make one of these. If I actually go back to that. And then the uses of this actually are not so difficult. Because you need four, well actually I'll say that, that's rubbish. Look at that. So you need four of those for one of those. You normally only need three, don't you? So it's sort of to give you a benefit as you go up. I don't know. It wouldn't be bad to put another 1K storage in, because 1K is quite good. Still processing these slowly. But what I came here for was the gravel, wasn't it? So I want the gravel to go back through the system here. If I put it up there, then it'll come into the into here into this pulverizer and get pulverized into um, sand. Let's remove these. Put those into the system. Mycelium, I can take that as well and put that outside. Let's just do that as well. That one. Where are we up to? Just emptying out this chest, wasn't I? So when that's finished processing, this one should probably already finished. We can put this, those up there and they'll come down nicely into here and then get processed. Is that getting still some more? Ah, oh, it's probably in here. Yeah. I wonder why it's getting some more cobblestone. Actually, I don't need these. Let's just remove these. Don't really. Need, oops, no. It's full. I can't get anything else out of here. So let's take some more stuff that we don't need in here. So I should be able to get rid of that. Carrots we'll keep in here. Let's sort this by number of items in descending order. So I've got two pieces of string. Let's take those out of there like that. Four pieces of sugar for taking out. That's not such a bad thing. Grass we can leave outside. Cactus green we'll leave here because it's a product, isn't it? Signs we don't need in here. Blocks of this, we need lots of those. Ah, there is one thing I wanted to automate. Not grout, but um, clay. I think we need a lot of clay for some stuff as well. So, let's get rid of those outside. Don't need these here, do we? Sand, we do need sugar as the other one, and signs. So I was going to automate clay, which is dead easy. All I need to do is come through here with a... I'll break this piece of glass. Actually, I wonder if we can make a glass cutter, because that's open blocks, isn't it? I don't need this recipe anymore. Let's get this one. No. I thought it was... Maybe it's RF tools. So was a glass cutter. Save me breaking the glass, but I won't matter much for break the glass, and we'll need one of those. Yeah. Because in here we've got dust. So if I break this here like this. No, nope, I'm gonna break it he here. Like that. And I'll bring the pipe the cable through here like this. And then we can we can put onto this one here a export fluid, an ME fluid export bus, like that. And we can put onto this one here an ME export bus. Actually, needs to be on the top, doesn't it? You can fill up from. Maybe you can fill up from the side. I'm not 100% sure. 
So let's just put that on there like that. Try that again. Oh. Try that again. <laughs> Oops, must be in the try get in my hand. Okay. Good. And I want this to connect to here. And then underneath here we're going to just dig this out a bit. I want to put another one on here, so let's put another piece of pipe down. So what we're going to imp this will be an import bus, won't it? So we just need an import bus here, because that's going to import for us clay. I think I can reach that like that. Yeah, I can. I don't need to specify what I'm importing, of course. So I'll put that like that. So now let's just try water on the side of this thing bucket of water like that and we also need some well, we'd need dust to come in the top here we got dust in already so that's no big deal let's see if we've got any put it here see if it actually works on the side of this hopper because it would be nice to put it on the side of the hopper and indeed it is doing look at that because then basically it saves pipe and it's, it saves one piece of cable, doesn't it? ME cable. Like that. That went probably into this hopper, did it? Try again. Uh, I just turned the hopper around as well when I right clicked it with this one. I need to get it going down. That's right. So in here, we shall import water. So then it's going to make clay and this clay is going to get imported. So if we come over here now and look at clay, we'll see that's going up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's coming up nicely. In fact, I should change this again. I have it by oops, can do it by name as I can. Alphabetical. So that's clay's now going up. That's good. Let's put the sand in here. We want sorry, the dust in there. Let's go and get some sand out of the system. We should have plenty of sand coming in now. Reasonable amount and still got a little plenty of gravel. Let's put the gravel at the top here. So that should now be coming through here. Make I've oh, still got cobblestone to go well. So we can then put at least this sand into this I should find a better way of doing that. Of course I've done it already haven't I? Like that. So I don't have to stand there doing that all the time, but I do have to stand here and get these out. Process that already. So we should get some nice silicon coming out of it, which is good. That's the intention anyway. So that's another piece of automation done. I think I've also got to automate silicon. So we'll look at these quests. See, I was looking at this one here. 64 machine iron, uh, iron machine holes. I've made three. So it's going to take quite a long time to do that. But we get a loot chest and 10 experience, which is nice. When we actually do that, that was this one here. This one I should be able to do reasonably and easily. Some dense uh, refined iron plate. And that'll give us 64 sodium. Tanks of six. Well, actually, it's not so much, is it? Sixteen thousand, sixteen buckets of sodium. So from this density, we should be able to do one hundred and twenty-eight. So we basically that would be two stacks. So we need from here two times nine, eighteen stacks. One, one. Okay, one, two. Each one of these rows, of course, is ten. That's nine. So let's go and make those, turn those into blocks. And what I was thinking of doing here, let's get some wood out of here. And make four um, of crafting tables. Can I put that into there? I can, good. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to make a progressive automate, uh, X compression compression thing what's it called it's compression this one the auto compressor so that should be able to craft that straight away like that put those away don't need those in with us now 
with this we also need to feed it with items let's just take out the first item duct which I probably already got on me have I I can't see it don't need that in there do I cloth let's put the cloth in here item ducts we do need in actually hmm that's not very clever at the moment what do I want that's fluid that's fluid duct I want the item duct and I want a servo but we can put the stuff down to start with what I'd like to let's put this down here this does need power doesn't it and the power's running underneath or, or at the back we'll do it underneath I think like that let me just put these two cables down there and that should get power in that which is fine now if we put into here this refined iron we should get 64 blocks let's go downstairs and get another 64 I mean another nine stacks and that should give us 128 Be 10, 8. So I just done wrong here. Oh, I probably need more. I'd love to come up twice for that one. I thought I'd just was 10 across, but it's only 9 by the looks of it. Let's go back over here. stack well, of course what's going to happen now is it's going to fill up again let's take that back with us and this will give us two stacks which we can then slice and dice like we've just done the others with the iron so what I'll probably do is I think I'll get this quest finished first so let's just put that into there like that then we get our two stacks so let's put across here now the item duct, uh, the item duct here and go and get a filter a filter, um, a servo take the hardened servo, we only got hardened anyway I don't need hardened for this because it's going to be a slow process cutting these up until I up upgrade this machine here, I want to upgrade I've actually got four in here haven't I, okay so let's now put into here Servo. Activate that. And that should then put into here blocks of refined iron. Let's just take the refined iron blocks of steel, in fact. Let's slice that up. See what happens here. Hopefully, we'll get some dense. steel plates fine iron plates are perfect and then we can take these out of here like oh, actually we could even put them in again iron plate iron plate and that will make us for us the dense iron plates so we'll get two stacks out of that when that's completed and you can see that's fairly slow but maybe now I've got a few more speed upgrades let's put these into here or overclockers Yes, that looks a bit better. It might not be fast enough, so let's just take, put another one in here. Maybe we'll put all seven in here. It might be better actually. Five, six. I'm going to have to make a load of these overclockers. Well, I'll be doing that between episodes because basically that's a lot of work doing sand, isn't it? I mean, getting snow, and the rest of it's not too difficult actually, but it's just the snow that's the problem. Got any iron plates? I can't put them in the output. I'd be surprised if we could put them in the input either, so there we are. Dense iron plates. Not much I can do with this. Okay. 
I'll have to put them in manually later on. That's the idea of that one. Let's put these back into the system over here, and then we've got the rest of the stuff. We've got 64 blocks of iron. I wonder if I can do anything with those. Well, not really, because everything's stuck in there. But as you can see, that's working nicely. It's nice that the cutting blade doesn't dig, um, degrade over time. That's, that I do appreciate, because I really hate doing this. It looks like this is actually even out of power. So I think that the next thing we're going to have to do is to also upgrade the power. So let's have a quick look at how we're going to do that. We only need to make basic conduits for Ender IO. We don't need to make anything more than that. So if we have a look at conduits now, we basically only need to make, sorry, these. So what we need is conductive iron and conduit binder. So conduit binder is basically smelting this one. And this is where we need gravel, sand and clay. Well, we've got plenty of those, so but not much clay. Let's get the clay out of here. Now we've got plenty of clay, look at that. Let's go and take this and decompose it. So that's coming in here. Now we've done the slime walls, haven't we? So all I need to do with this now is to put it, I think, top right hand corner like that. And then we get loads of clay straight away about that, fantastic. So I'm gonna let that do its thing, business. So we'll put these into here like this. So we get, oh actually we get eight conduit binders, that's not too bad. So let's shift click that down and we get a stack. I'm going to do three stacks of that, yes. Now what we're also going to do, we're going to cook these up to make, oh we're making four each one. It's nice and generous. I hadn't realised I did four as well, that's a lot of, that's going to be in a lot of conduit binder. It doesn't matter that much, I'm going to put the rest of the conduit binder in here, near to the smell tree over there, uh, near to the redstone furnace. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get out of here, we have some silicon. And what I'm going to do is I would like conductive iron. So conductive iron is the red one, isn't it? So go back over here. This one. Now to make this conductive iron, what we can do, is we can't do this because it's all smelters, which we haven't got. We could possibly do it through here, on the casting table. We just go back over that. No, I thought there was a better way of doing it. Okay, so the way we're going to have to do this is with the mixer. Got the uh, molten conductive iron which we're going to be able to get from. We can't do smeltery stuff. But what we can do is this one. So we need liquid iron and destabilized redstone. Oh, what do I want to think of the need in silicon for? Oh, that's electric steel. Okay. Destabilized redstone, no big deal. Let's go and get some redstone. I think, We've got 10 of these in use, I think we have. I was just wondering, I removed some time. I think I removed when I was testing some molten steel out of here, but I'll leave it in. Because we want destabilized redstone, so we'll look redstone. 500 odd. Actually, not a lot, but it might be enough for what we need. So we also want some iron. Um, the bucket of water away and let's just select iron here give myself a bucket of iron so these two now I am wondering about this this is a magnet crucible which I actually need but to feed it into this fluid transposer and then we fill up these reinforced containers hmm 
I think I've got another Magna Crucible around here. Three transpose I've definitely got one of. And I think I made a third, if I can get in here, Magna Crucible. I did indeed. So what we can do with these two, I don't think I can do it in here, because I don't have any space left. So let's go downstairs and see if we can set these two up. Well, I suppose I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it down here like this. Destabilised redstone. Magna Crucible. Let's put these two in here. And then we're going to fill those up with destabilised redstone. Which we're going to put into here like that. Check the configuration, that's working correctly. And so is actually this. Wow. So we now get destabilised redstone in here. Okay, good. Where's the other one gone to? Do I not have two? That's strange. I'm sure I had two containers with me and I shift clicked them in here, so maybe it just destroys one when you do it that way. Hmm. Pain. Never mind. You can make some more of that refactorized clay. It definitely has disappeared. So we now need some iron. I do need some more refactorized clay actually. Let's just uh, let's have a look at this one. This container, let's have a look at the recipe for that. So it's this one. I don't think I can do it because we haven't got the bricks. So we need to move these, so we need some of this one. Which you should be able to do. All right, 64, fantastic. So I'm going to go and cook these. <laughs> well, I was hoping to cook these, but you know. Actually, this isn't going to take very long, is it? We'll just make sure we've got three stacks of these. That'll do, because I'll give you a stack of those, and we can make some bricks. Let's put the rest of those in here like that with the other stuff. Wow, well, got this stuff we're getting through here now. 32 will do. Right. I'm not sure how many glass panes I've got either, but what I'll do is I'll make everything I've got of these. So I need the recipe for that. Put those up there, and then we can select those out. We got 14. Good. So now with this one we're going to I'm going to put the iron back because I want the iron to be put into these. That will do for the time being. So now we should be able to put this into the machine over here. The alloy mixer. It's funny you can't right click it with something of those in your hand. So that is molten iron, so that goes into there like this. And Let's shift that out. So we can basically put two buckets of that into there like this. And then we can put the destabilized redstone in here. And as we do that, that's made us some molten conductive iron. So we can then put this into, sorry, this into here like this. And then we've got a bucket of these what have we got? Conductive iron. So with the conductive, we've got one bucket of conductive iron. We can put that into here. Let's do that. Probably got enough aluminium ingots for the time being. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be patient and I'm going to click this off because I'm running out of time. Probably not enough time. Ah, oh, yes, fantastic. Works just spot on. So I'm going to put this molten iron. I want this one it's slightly redder. Oops, get it into the right place like this. So we're now getting some ingots coming out of here like that. And the rest of this, so the 96, whatever we've got left over, we'll put into here like that. So then that's ready to carry on. And we should have, we've got six. Great, so that means with those six, we can make two stacks of, I can't do it there of course. I, hoping, I should have taken away a table. If I do it like this, and like this, 
we get energy conduits 16 so that's nice so on that note some energy conduits i'm going to say goodbye again and i hope you enjoyed this episode so until next time bye for now